Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today I'm going to show you how to install the open source e-commerce website about the cart. We are now going to uh, download the latest version of the actual software here. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to save it to my desktop. And once has been done, as you can see here, I'm going to uh, open the file and I'm going to extract this content on my desktop. All right, so while the actual content is being extracted, I'm going to my PHP, my admin uh, page, and I'm going to create the database that I'm going to use for the installation. Now I'm going to uh, call the new database Abante. And I'm going to click uh, create. So it is uh, nearly done with the extraction. I'm going to open my FTP client FileZilla. And uh, I'm already to the right folder on my server. Now that the actual uh, extraction has been completed, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload the actual content of the public HTML here. I'm double click and I'm going to upload this content to my server. Here we go, the actual upload of the file has just started and uh, as soon as finished we're going to get to the actual browser and we're going to start the installation. Alright, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to refresh the page, here we go and uh, this is the actual main screen. Uh, don't forget to agree to the license and uh, press continue. Now I'm going to check and make sure that everything is correct without any errors before I click continue. The PHP is uh, required is okay. And I'm going to press continue now and I'm going to the next stage where I'm going to add the actual uh, database uh, name, username, the, uh, the database uh, password and uh, I'm going back here and I'm going to show you the one I just created earlier on in PHP my admin and I'm going to add the username um, I think that one is an error there let me so let's do here banter first and I go back to the actual database username in this case it's going to be uh, OSC I'm going to use. Here we go. Let me go to the main one and I'm going to press on user account. And here we go. I'm going to use this one OSC. So I'm going back to the uh, installation page. I'm going to add the username OSC and I'm going to add my database password. Now for the password, I created a, a previous. Um, tutorial don't forget to have a look on that one it'll explain a little bit uh, because i've been uh, criticized many times about the easy password that we're in usually i used to put admin and admin just to make a show because it wasn't just a tutorial and i was being told off so you know uh anyway don't forget to have a look at that in a particular tutorial here i'm going to add the unique path to the admin uh, whatever i'm going to uh write here that is the one that you're going to use after the domain name to access your admin page. So I just add my admin unique section key. Uh, and I'm going to add the uh, admin username. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use a simple one, open source channel. And I'm going to add the actual password as well. Now I'm going to re-enter my password. Then I'm going to add my admin uh, email address. And for this tutorial, I'll make sure that is checked to load the demo data. 
and then once I finish I'm going to press continue for the next stage. All right, so as I mentioned earlier on, don't forget to uh, have a look at my previous uh, password uh, PWGen uh, tutorial that will explain to you how to generate strong passwords. As you can see here, it's a very, very long password, so I hope I don't get told off. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to press continue. Uh, let me pause that second. Anyway, that's been done. I pressed continue and here the installation has started. There we go. We're going to wait until the installation's finished. There we go. The installation's finished now and I'm going to show you. Oh, by the way, don't forget to go back to your uh, FTP client. In this case, it's a FileZilla and I'm going to delete the installation folder before I go to the next step. Right, now I'm going to click on this icon where I'm going to load the front uh, hand of the uh, e-commerce website we just installed. Um, I believe Abante Cart is one of the best e-commerce that I have uh, graphically that I have used. It's quite uh, nice, and neat, very simple to uh, to understand how it works, especially for the hand user. You know, for the your buyers, if you use it for yourself for a you know a proper live uh, e-commerce web store, and it has a lot. Of, you know, they, it's a lot of features. You know, it's quite good e-commerce open source uh, software now we're going to show you the back end of the uh, e-commerce website here we go uh, as you can see on the top is the actual uh, key that we generated in the installation is the unique one you can choose it yourself whatever you want to use it now I'm going to disable my ABP uh, uh, you know, it's ad blocker. You know, I usually use that to ensure that you know I don't get disturbed with a lot of advertising. Now I'm going to uh, add my login password that I chosen in installation. In my case, it was open source channel and the password. I'm going to click login. All right. So uh, after you logged in for the first time, it's going to start to ask you. Uh, few questions just to get started with the name of your store address locations and many other informations i'm just going to make a quick one with the open source channel uh uk store you know test store and uh, once i finish i'll go for the next stage Right here is going to ask for your Google Analytics uh, information number. Just uh, log your uh, Google page and just copy and paste here. There we go. Uh, now, once we finish, we go to the next one. And if you want to display your pricing with the tax in the UK, for example, it's going to be the VAT. Uh, IVA, I think, for uh, some part of the Europe. And once it's done, go to the next one. You, here you can add your own logo. I'm going to leave it as it is because it's just a tutorial. Here I'm going to choose which system I want to use for email, SMTP, or just PHP mail. This is what I'm going to choose. And I'm going to press next. And now I'm going to install the PayPal uh, module. It's very simple to do so. Just press on install. And in a few seconds, as you can see here, the module has been installed. 
Now, the next things to do is make sure it's live or unless you want to use it as a sandbox. Uh, here, you can choose yes or no. I'm going to leave it yes for now here. There. Now, let's remove as no. And there we go. Now, uh, as you can see here, nearly everything done. All you got to do here, to be honest with you, just add your uh, PayPal uh, email address. As simple as that. All right, so now I'm going to save it and I'm going to the uh, there we go. Let's go have a look here a little bit. This is internal mail from uh, could be from you know from your uh, users or directly from the Abante website. As you can see, there is already most of the data has been there. You can actually delete it if you wanted to, you can start from scratch. Now I'm going to show you some of the uh, products that are already been installed. As you can see here with all the images, I'm going to click on edit. There's two ways. There's a quick way and there's the general where you can actually have the, the, you know, the entire information. This is the quick way, as you can see there. And now I'm going to uh, press on the general so you can see the differences. Here you got the full uh, description of the actual uh, products you have. And you can have the page layout. Uh, if you got any promotions, relations to other products, here you can upload the files. Then you go, you know, more options and you can attach more like medias you can attach more images in that case you know options if you have a different uh, values you know uh, in this case the the amount or so you can have different colors whatever you want really there we go uh, we're going back to the main uh, dashboard All right, let's have a look here at the categories. And uh, let's go back to the dashboard. See if it loads in. It's a little bit slow today in the server. You can add the uh, manufacturers and many other information anyway. As you can see here, it's been loaded up all the manufacturers of your products. Here we go, uh, we ended this uh, little tutorial. Thanks again for uh, following me for uh, all this time. Don't forget you can follow me on uh, Twitter. You can follow me on uh, Facebook. And don't forget, uh, if you don't find any other link, don't forget you can actually press on about where you can find more links. Don't forget I've also got the website. Although on website is more the corporate site, it's not so much information. Uh, I really like mainly to be followed on uh, the main page, you know, here on uh, YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like and share my videos. And the more you share, the more videos I can do. Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you next time for a new tutorial.